These are 11 tech essentials that really help me in everyday life. They assist me in staying more productive, organized and efficient. Oh, now, the majority of this tech list will probably be already familiar to you. But there will be some items that you would not expect to be there. It took me some time to figure out what tech actually helps me to stay more productive and what tech is rather a distraction. But anyway, let's waste no more time and let me share with you 11 tech essentials for everyday use. I want to start the list with the item that we use the most. This bad boy, right here. We live in a digital world and it's kinda impossible to imagine our life without this little thing. I got iPhone 14 Pro Max and I think it's a 256 gig version. I constantly work with different content, I record it, I edit it, I post it. So having a little bit bigger screen that the Max version offers really helped me to stay more productive and perform my tasks better. I'm not gonna dive deeper into what apps I have on my iPhone because just screw you guys, it's gonna take too much time. No, of course I'm kidding. We actually made a separate YouTube video with everything I have on my iPhone all the apps, software, etc. So I'll leave a link somewhere here, go check it out and let's move to the next item. With the number two on this list, we have a pair of AirPods. This is a pro version and I absolutely love it because of the noise cancellation and transparency features. And I constantly switch between these two modes. When I work out, for example, I don't really need to hear what's going on around me all the time. So I just toggle the noise cancellation mode and focus fully on the workout. However, when I'm taking a bike to work, I don't really want to get hit by a car. So I prefer to have my audiobook with AirPods in transparency mode and hear the surroundings. Additionally, if you are sitting in some public area in the library for example and you're trying to focus and that's all that surrounding noise, noise cancellation mode can really help you to isolate it and just become more productive with what you're doing. The only problem with AirPods is that they come in the white color which means that they can get pretty messy with all the dust and other stuff we have in our pockets and backpacks. That being said, I would highly recommend you to get some form of a case for them. I got this black simple one just to keep them a bit cleaner. It doesn't have to be anything expensive and there are a ton of options in range of 10 to 15 dollars. And besides of the case, there is another really cool headphones accessory which you can use regardless to what brand of headphones headphones you have. I'm talking about this little cleaning kit that you can get from Amazon for like $10. It basically has a little needle on one end to clean the hardly accessible part of the headphones and a bigger brush on the other hand that can get the majority of the dust and dirt removed. The item number three on this list is a bit more unusual and I actually have it right here. This is an SSD, which stands for... What does SSD stand for? Okay, apparently this is a solid state drive. Basically, you can think about it as a pen drive with a lot of storage. This one is a two terabyte version and I absolutely love how helpful this little thing is. I do a lot of photo and video editing. So what I did, I just uploaded the most often used overlays, sounds, etc. into this SSD. Now, all of those assets are not taking storage on my computer, but rather are stored externally right here. And secondly, I can always have this SSD on the go, connect to my my laptop or any other computer and I'll have all my editing library back without the need to spend hours looking for those effects and re-downloading them. That being said, SSD is the major life helper if you're working on a creative niche, but if you are doing anything else, there can be some use cases for this thing as well. Talking about the laptop, this is another thing I almost never go anywhere without. I have a separate station with a computer at home, but sometimes I just want to go to a cafe and work from there, so obviously I'm not gonna drag my stationary computer to the cafe with me. So I just pack my laptop with me and work remotely while giving my mind some rest from home settings. I have this HP Envy laptop that I'm really happy about. It looks really stylish and modern and has a pretty decent hardware inside of it. If you are looking for a more affordable piece of tech, this thing will definitely be worth its money. I think I got it last Christmas for around $600, it had a $400 discount on it and as I said, I was really happy with this thing. And since we are talking about the laptop, there are a few more accessories I usually carry on with it. So we have the laptop stand right here. Let me put it down. We have an external keyboard and we have a mouse. I usually open a laptop stand, which is a foldable and portable piece of metal with rubber pads. And afterwards, I just put my laptop on top of it. And the main idea behind this thing is to lift your screen higher and change your shrimp posture to a more straight one. Now, however, because your laptop is lifted, it's hard to type under the 45 degree angle. So you can just connect a keyboard and a mouse. You are basically turning your laptop into a little computer station that allows you to sit straighter, navigate quicker, and as a result, becoming more productive. When it comes to brands and prices, this laptop stand was probably around $15 from Amazon. I have this fancy wireless Logitech G903 that was a bit over $100, which is definitely an overkill for the majority of people. But I do a lot of video editing and graphic design, so I wanted to invest in a little bit more premium solution. But I mean, you can do all the same with a cheaper mouse and there's no need for such an expensive solution. And as for the keyboard, this is a little mechanical keyboard, which is called Royal Clutch R61. With number eight, 
8 on the productivity everyday tech list, I want to talk about Apple Watch. Nowadays, smartwatch is not really a surprise for anyone, but I got this Apple Watch just recently. And I'm actually surprised how often I'm using this thing. Obviously, it's a great tool to keep track of your notifications. I used to check my phone every time it was making a noise and 70% of times it was just a nonsense email that just wasted my time. So having an Apple Watch allows me just to take a quick peek on it and then just decide if I need to unlock my phone or not. But besides of that, I use Apple Watch to record some notes and a go when I can just talk to a watch, or I also track my fitness goals right here and set a quick timers, etc. I got this SE version, which is considered a bit cheaper and more limited solution, but I honestly never felt that I was missing some feature or something. That being said, for 90% of people, SE will be a perfect solution and will be way more than enough. Another quite an unusual item on this list is Aperture MC. What is it? Well, if you do some photography or videography, you probably know that the light is one of the most important elements you can have. And that's what the Aperture MC is. It is a light solution, very bright solution. It allows you to change colors, saturation of those colors, have different presets, even some interesting modes you can use. It definitely helps me to spice up the scene. As you can see, I put it right there and it was there all video long. And it's also magnetic, so you can attach it to different surfaces, which gives you a lot of flexibility. With number 10 on the list, we have something that probably every bookworm will enjoy. I'm talking about this Kindle e-reader. Kindle is an absolute perfect solution if you like reading, but not necessarily want to carry heavy books with you everywhere or wait till your next book arrives. The more you reduce the friction between you and the certain action, reading in this case, the higher is the likelihood of you actually completing this action. Another cool thing about Kindle is that it allows you to highlight parts of the text while reading and then it automatically texts those highlights into a dedicated folder. After you're done with your book, you can just open Kindle app on your desktop and export the files with all the notes. It works very simply and seamlessly, so I became a huge fan of this piece of tech. And the last, but definitely not the least, on this tech list thing is not really a tech item, but it definitely needs to be here because it literally carries all of that stuff. I'm talking about this insane and my absolute favorite backpack from Love Pro. I always had simpler and cheaper backpacks until one of them ripped off right here and cracked my laptop. Then later in life, I started to carry more tech and more expensive tech, so I wanted to secure myself and get something more reliable. Was it cheap? Probably not, but for me personally, it was worth every dollar I spent on this thing. I travel with it, I go to work with it, I pack all my camera gear inside, as well as all the other accessories you've seen in this video. I think that Love Pro is actually considered to be a company that makes travel backpacks for camera and video gear, which makes their product even more reliable and better quality. If I remember right, this version costed me around $160 to $180 when it was discounted, but as I mentioned earlier, I never regretted spending money on this. Oh, and I almost forgot to share with you one more bonus item on this list that I wanted to include here. I don't use it all the time, but now during the winter season, some of you guys may really enjoy this thing. I'm talking about these hand warmers right here. The idea behind them is to turn them on and then the middle part of the handle will start getting warmer. Now you just hold it in your hands and enjoy the brisk winter walk or watching a football game in the evening. It is a very interesting solution. I live in Arizona, so there's not a lot of occasions where I can use these things. But for some of you guys, as I've mentioned, that live in a colder climates, these hand warmers can definitely be a thing to consider. And this was my personal list of 11 tech items that I use almost every day. Now, please don't get the misconception that you need all of that stuff. Some of you who are not recording content or not doing any photography might not need that aperture light at all in your life. But I just wanted to share what I have in my inventory and hopefully there was an item or two that you might want to consider using. Let me know in the comments what you would add to this list and what are some of the tech essentials that you list in everyday life that I didn't mention in this video. If you guys found this video useful in any way, I would really appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.